Hi guys, it's me again, and today I'm going to be replacing this section of rusted out cast iron drain pipe. So, I first cut the cast iron pipe below the problematic section, then I cut the ABS above it. And I cut it using my Milwaukee M18 fuel sawzall and the Milwaukee torch carbide blade, which is designed for cutting cast iron. Next, I just wiggled the cast iron pipe out of the wall. This was a bit tricky because there was an electrical conduit in the way, but I eventually was able to get it wiggled out pretty quickly. So now we can have a look at this weird pipe. It's a double sanitary tee. The top one is the drain, the bottom is the clean out. To connect the new ABS to the old cast iron, I'm going to use a no-hub coupling and an ABS no-hub adapter. You must use the ABS no-hub adapter or else you might have leaks. The lower pipe I'm keeping as well as the pipe in the crawl space because they're still in good shape. When tightening the no-hub coupling, you cannot use an ordinary screwdriver or nut driver. You must use a no-hub coupling wrench and tighten it until you feel the wrench slip. This means it's at the proper torque. Next, I measured a section of pipe needed to reach the sink drain. I'm not installing a clean out because you can just snake it through the trap and having a second clean out there is redundant. And to cut the ABS pipe, I'm just using my mini reciprocating saw, which can be used one handed. A hacksaw works for cutting pipe too, but it's a bit slower. Next, I just glued the pipe into the no hub adapter, which is already installed into the no hub coupling using some ABS glue. I followed the same procedure to install the sanitary tee. To connect the vent, I'm using a fern co fitting. I first slide this fitting up onto the vent pipe, then after gluing in a section of ABS pipe which will fit into the gap, I can then slide down the fern co so it's covering both pipes and then tighten down the bands. Inside the vanity, I simply glued on a piece of ABS pipe, a pretty short section, a few inches long, and then a trap adapter, which lets me connect the tubular P-trap. I installed a new white polyethylene P-trap kit, as well as a 45 degree tubular elbow and a short tail piece to make an offset to get the P-trap to fit. I was able to buy all the parts needed at a plumbing supply store locally. Now you can get a pretty clear view of the new tubular P-trap and the 45 degree elbow connecting it to the wad. Finally, to check for leaks, I just run water and have a close look at all the pipes. And as you can see, the newly installed ABS appears to be dry, so there is no leak, which is good. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it was helpful for your own plumbing repairs. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoyed it and see you on next time.